What's up everyone? Welcome back again to your Hero Clicks headquarters. Today we're going to be talking about a top five list that I've been looking forward to doing for quite some time. One of my favorite X-Men. You guys asked for it, so here it is. Time for a top five gambits in Hero Clicks. So without further ado, let's get to the list. All right, and coming in at number five for Gambit, we have the rare one from the Dark Phoenix animated series set. Uh, so this one is pretty cool. One thing I do love about this whole set was how awesome the sculpts were, how they really captured the look and feel of that, you know, 90s cartoon. Gotta love that. Um, and this is a pretty cool gambit. He's got improved movement hindering, which doesn't really matter anymore. <laughs> Uh, but he has Running Shot and Stealth as his special movement power. And then he has Energy Explosion. And when Gambit uses it, if the roll is doubles and hits, increase the damage dealt to all hit targets by plus one. So that's really cool. Uh, it feels very Gambity, you know, to uh, just roll doubles, get some lucky hits, and uh, plus one damage to everybody on an Energy Explosion. It's pretty awesome. Uh, yeah, so Running Shot, Stealth, Energy Explosion that could potentially do three to all hit targets is great. Five range double target for that. 18 toughness, pretty good. Only 65 points, so, you know, not too bad. He's got some perplex there in the middle. Uh, X-Men team ability, of course. So, yeah, he's pretty pretty all right. Just your average kind of running shot, stealth, energy explosion, whatever. So, for all those reasons, he's coming in at number five. So, coming in at number four for Gambit is the other one from the animated series Dark Phoenix Saga set from the Fast Forces. Uh, so, you know, same thing. Awesome sculpt from the... 90s cartoon, you know, looks great, just like the other one. Uh, so we'll take a look at his card. The reason I like this one a little bit more, uh, first of all, he has this trait from the characters that uh, are adjacent or have the X-Men keyword can use probability control when attacked by characters with the giant or colossal symbols. So that's a really nice trait. There was a lot of giants and colossals in the set that he came from, and you know, there's always lots of good colossals going around, colossal retaliators, etc. Being able to use prob is really nice when you're being attacked by a bunch of colossals. And then he also has a special movement power that gives him force blast, running shot, and stealth. So that's a nice little upgrade over the other rare version. I really like the fact that he's 70 or 50 points, so he's kind of either a more expensive or less expensive version of the rare from this set. Uh, kind of gives you a lot more team building options. So he starts off, of course, with that running shot, stealth, and force blast special. 11 attack with penetrating blast is really nice. 17 with combat reflexes is really good with the stealth. And 3 damage with enhancement is also really good. Uh, so he's really a lot more of a team player kind of gambit with the enhancement and with, you know, his other trait that gives you prob against giants and colossals. He also has more range, six range double target. It's really nice. And, you know, he's pretty much the same on the 50 point line. Only real difference is he starts with toughness instead of the combat reflexes. But I really like both of his point values uh, for different reasons. And I just like him a lot as a figure. So for all those reasons, he's coming in at number four. Coming in at number three for Gambit, we have the one from the Regenesis set, the common one. Uh, he's pretty good. I really like, you know, the yellow base, the yellow and blue bases in this set were pretty cool. Pretty nice sculpt there. It is a switch clicks, so you can get, you know, the deep cuts version and paint your own and swap them around if you'd like to. Now, he uh, also has some improved movement for hindering, which doesn't matter anymore. <laughs> pretty much a lot of these Gambits have that. Uh, he also has this trait where at the beginning of the game, uh, you know, if he's part of a Jean Grey School for Higher Learning theme team, you can replace him, uh, you can replace his card with this one, which we'll talk about in a second. Uh, but he starts with a trait, sidestep, and stealth. Just having traded sidestep and stealth is really nice just to have that all the time. And then he has a special attack power that gives him free, choose one, energy explosion and force blast, or quake and giant reach two. Gambit can use the chosen effects this turn. I really like that. Uh, that's just really his, fits his power set really well. Energy explosion and force blast for obviously, you know, the throwing cards. Uh, or if you use the quake and giant reach two, that's, you know, for his staff skills. Really cool stuff there. Uh, I like the fact that he's 80 or 50 points. However, I would almost never play him at 80 points. This is pretty much a 50 point figure in my mind, just because, I mean, you're paying 30 more points for two extra clicks of life uh, that start out exactly the same as the 50 point line. So I'd really rather just play the 50 point line and get the exact same starting click. Uh, five range double targets nice, starts with the running shot, has the traded stealth and sidestep is really cool. The special attack power gives you kind of a light pick a power and some energy shield 
just in case they can see through your stealth or uh, if you get caught out, I guess, out of hindering and starting with perplex is really nice. So if we flip back to the inside of his card here, you can see that the only difference is he gets energy explosion, force blast, quake, and giant reach too. You pretty much just get them all. You don't have to pick between one or the other. Uh, it's just kind of the bonuses that he gets for being played on a Jean Grey school team. Uh, so, you know, not really crazy. It's not really worth going out of your way to play him on that kind of team, uh, but he is really good either way. So I like him a lot. And for all those reasons, he's coming in at number three. Coming in at number two on my list of gambits is the rare from Wolverine and the X-Men. Now, I've always loved this one. The sculpt on him is beautiful. Still to this day, one of my favorite gambit sculpts. Uh, he has a switch click, so actually you could switch him with... Uh, the number three one if you really wanted to. That's pretty nice. Uh, but yeah, we'll look at his dial here in a second. He does have an old card, so we'll have to click through it for a second. But uh, again, with the improved movement uh, hindering train, that's no longer useful. I think, just think it's funny that they all have that, and it was great. That was definitely a bonus for all of them, but they changed the rules, so it's kind of whatever now. Anyway, uh, he has, at the beginning of the game, uh, after objects are placed, you may replace any object five points or less with a standard standard light object from outside the game. Even in today's game, maybe even especially in today's game, that's huge. That's a very powerful uh, effect to have. Just because if they, if your opponent brings like any type of Mandarin ring or any other special object or equipment object that's five points or less, uh, you just get to get rid of it completely and replace it with a standard light object. That could really, really mess up your opponent's plans. And honestly, I really, really hope we get a legacy card for this guy because I really love that effect and I'd love to see something similar to that, hopefully. Uh, but also, he has another trait here. Gambit can use super strength, but he can't pick up or hold heavy objects. Uh, so basically, he can hold light objects. The rules actually changed a long time ago that anybody could pick up light objects, so kind of disregard that first part. Uh, but when he throws an object, modify his attack value by plus two and increase the damage dealt by two. That is still really awesome, and I love that. I just think that's such a like cool gambit kind of thing to do. Just pick up like a trash can, charge it full of energy, throw that for, uh, what, 12 attack, 4 damage or whatever, 13 attack, 4 damage on his top click, I think. Uh, really, really cool. And yeah, so then he has another special on his movement that gives him Leap Climb. And when your opponent uh, has more than one action remaining in their action pool, Gambit can use Stealth. So basically, uh, he has Stealth until they're down to one action left in their action pool. And this can change a lot depending on if they have leadership, how many points they're playing, etc. Um, but pretty much they have to use up all but one of their actions and then like their last person making an action in the turn could see him and he wouldn't be in stealth anymore. Um, I, again, I hope we get a legacy card and they just give him straight up leap climb and stealth because that's kind of uh, hard to keep track of sometimes. One thing I do want to point out real quickly is he has 118 points, uh, which is kind of the most expensive gambit that there is. Uh, so that's kind of a, a downside for him. If he was like 90 points, he probably would have been my number one. I'll just say that much. Uh, but yeah, so we'll take a look here at his dial really quickly. Like I said, this is still just one of my favorite sculpts. So cool. Uh, he starts out with that Leap Climb Stealth special with 11 attack penetrating blasts. And one really cool thing, I believe with the rules changes now, you could throw the light object with the plus two attack, plus two damage, and it would be penetrating, I believe, because of his penetrating blast. That's actually something I'm going to have to, <laughs> to, have, to have to look up to be 100% sure about, but I'm pretty sure that works out. Uh, combat reflexes, again, really nice with the stealth. This is one of the first uh, gambits we've looked at that doesn't have Indomitable. So, you know, that helps out. Uh, no, not having pushing damage helps him quite a bit. And I do like the fact that he's got triple target. Six range triple target is great. Then he goes into some running shot, energy explosion, toughness, and perplex. Uh, really gets use out of the triple target there. Same thing on click two, lower stats though. Then he goes back to penetrating blast. Then uh, some sidestep with combat reflexes. And yeah, pretty much same thing there. Then on his very last click, he goes into some mind control, which I think is really cool. Triple target mind control, even with a nine attack, you know, whatever, it's still pretty awesome. Um, so yeah, I really like this Gambit a lot. And he's coming in at number two. And now as always, before we get to our number one pick, we have an honorable mention to take a look at. In this case, it is the Mutations and Monsters set Gambit. Uh, now, one thing I do love about this Gambit, 
again is the sculpt. It is so freaking cool. The fact that he's, I mean, his face, you know, his face kind of could be a little bit better, I guess. Uh, but the jumping off of that uh, sentinel arm and throwing those cards is just so freaking cool, man. I wish we could get something a little bit more dynamic like that in today's game. Uh, anyway, so <laughs> I guess we'll just take a look at his card. He really only has like the one special, which is just Leap Climb, Running Shot, and Stealth. Uh, one cool thing is that Leap Climb and Running Shot would combo now, so you could actually Leap Climb, you know, over the elevated and everything, uh, which is pretty nice. And then, oh, he also has Perplex, but he can, uh, he must be within four or fewer squares from the target, so four range Perplex, uh, not too bad there. Uh, I almost might as well not even bother showing you his dial. It's not great. Uh, six range double target. He just has that special movement power with running shot, stealth, leap climb, and then the energy explosion there. 10 attack, 3 damage. It really just goes downhill from here. He is quite uh, an older figure. Gets some penetrating blasts there. Uh, he gets some flurry, some combat reflexes. That's where he picks up the perplex. Then he goes into an 8 attack with energy explosion, 8 attack with quake. One damage range of combat expert. Yeah, like I said, seven attack with energy explosion uh, before he KOs. Lots of clicks of life, um, but his stats fall off pretty hard. He has 90 points though. Um, so, you know, in his day, he wasn't too horrible, but he definitely uh, needs some improvement if he was to get like a legacy card or anything like that. There's also one other gambit that I don't currently have that is worth a honorable mention for sure, and that is the Deep Cuts gambit. Uh, he's like 60 points, he's got Running Shot, Energy Explosion, and Prob, and if he probs his own attack roll, then uh, if he hits, then he gets to remove his action token. It's pretty cool. Um, so definitely worth an honorable mention. I really want to get that one to actually paint it, uh, but anyway, Besides that, the only other real gambits are the old rev set ones that are barely even worth mentioning. And then there's also the uh, like Avatar of Death one or whatever, the Horseman of Death, which I don't really count because it's kind of like a, you know, different version of Gambit with like extra powers, etc. There's just not enough gambits in the game. What are you doing with kids? Let's get more gambits. I know we just got like four gambits in the past year, but I want more gambits. <laughs> anyway. That's gonna do it for the honorable mentions. On to number one. So coming in at number one for Gambit, if you haven't guessed it already, of course, is the new super rare from House of X. Uh, one thing I will say about this character is, again, gotta love this sculpt. It is amazing. Jumping, throwing like five cards at once. With that energy just looks super cool. Yeah, gotta love it. Super freaking awesome. Uh, anyway, we'll take a look at his card now. He's got a trait that gives him Mystics, but only triggers during range attacks, and he has Protected Mystics. Uh, both of those are very nice to have. Oh, this one also has Improved Targeting for Hindering. Again, with the Improved Movement Hindering, but Improved Targeting Hindering is great to see. You don't really see that on any Gambits, uh, usually. So, Really nice that he can actually shoot through stealth and not just be stealthy because he also has running shot and stealth, the classic gambit movement power. Then he also has energy explosion and precision strike and uh, precision strike, I'm pretty sure no longer says anything about needing to single target anymore. So you can actually combo the energy explosion and the precision strike now, which is pretty nice. And he also has free make and attack, but only to target a single non-standard character. So that's pretty nice. Uh, it does come in handy if you go up against some colossal retaliators or any giant characters or two by two based characters, or there's a lot of X-Men characters right now coming out in these last couple sets that just say this character is not a standard character uh, so they can't be like revived with Krakoan Revival and that kind of stuff so just keep an eye out on that you might get some free attacks off um, like I said it doesn't really come off too much but you know it could be very useful seven range triple target this is one of the longest ranges on Gambit we've gotten triple targets really awesome um, again, starts with the running shot stealth, energy explosion, precision strike, super senses, and perplex for 80 points. And for 50 points, you can get pretty much the same dial, uh, but you will be losing the perplex and the stealth on the top clicks. Uh, so it's really just, you know, how many points you have to fill. If you really need the stealth, if you really need the perplex, you know, um, whatever floats your boat there. Seven clicks of life is pretty good. 
So yeah, pretty awesome gambit all around. The only thing I will say is that he's just, he's not really flashy. He doesn't really do anything super cool. He's just like a really kind of bare bones, but he is very just good. Like he has really good stats. His powers, you know, they work together pretty well. He can see through hindering, that's really awesome. He has really long range. He's got the mystics. So he really just has like a lot of little things that kind of put him over the edge, just make him that much better than all the other gambits out there. So for all those reasons, he's coming in as my number one gambit. All right, that's gonna do it for this top five list. As always, make sure you let me know in the comments who you'd like to see on a future top five list and what some of your favorite gambits are because I'd love to talk to you guys about that. Don't forget to smash that like button if you enjoyed this video, it helps out a lot. And don't forget to click that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any future videos. If you'd like to help support the channel even further, there's of course links in the description for the Patreon, you can check that out. You can see your name here in the credits as well as some other awesome stuff. But that's gonna do it for this video, so until next time, this has been Heroclix Headquarters, signing off.